Right, I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with the noise. I'm sat here by the laser cutter because I wanted to show you how you can use the laser cutter to output some of your design ideas. And we're going to be using it to make our 3D glasses. So we're going to be cutting card using the laser cutter. But we can cut lots of different materials with the laser cutter. We can cut plastics and wooden board and cardboard and things like that. So I'm going to show you now how we can cut out the tangram we've drawn out using the laser cutter. So here I go now. I'm just going to quickly finish off a drawing of a tangram, right? Bear with me for two seconds. So I'm doing an 8x8 eight eight tangram by here. So it's uh, slightly bigger than the one that you've drawn out. Just quickly go through it. So I've got a diagonal by here. And a, so I'm not using a mouse. It's a bit difficult without a mouse, as you've probably realised now. So I'm just going to draw that in, and I'm going to draw a line that goes from here to here, and a line that goes from here down to here. And what's my last one? I've got a square, haven't I? So I've got to go from here to here, and I've got to come into my delete button and just trim away this, this, and this. So that should leave me one, two, three, four, seven shapes. Perfect. Okay, so. My drawing in TechSoft is completed. Now I need to create something called a DXF file, okay? Now that's just the name of a file format uh, that the laser cutter can understand, right? 2D file format. So I go down to my export button and I export DXF file. Now if that's not straight on there, you have to click on the down arrow and look for DXF file. It's down here somewhere. Click on that. And then call your file something you'll remember. So I'm going to call it Tangram, okay? Now, uh, okay, there's already one called Tangram. I'm going to call it Tangram 2. So I'm going to click Save. And I've saved it somewhere where I can get it from afterwards. It's in a file folder in my drive. Now, there's my text off drawing complete. And I've just exported the file. So I'm going to say goodbye to text off for a second. And I'm going to load a program that we use on this laptop. And it's only on this laptop that's connected to the laser. It's called LaserCut 5.3. Now, this lets me import my DXF file. So I go over here to import, and I look for, in my Intel folder, I look for the folder called Tangram. So I go down, they're alphabetical on here, so I have to scroll down, 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 until we find the T. Tangram, oop, I'm on V, T, Tangram 2, there it is. So when I click Open, my tangram comes onto the page and there it is okay now all those lines that I've got on my tangram are black uh, at this point it's worth mentioning that if I had different color lines so say I had black lines and red lines I can now tell the laser to do something different with the black lines to the red lines but I just want to do black lines and what I'm going to do I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the button that says engrave and I'm going to set it to cut now, next thing, if I double click on this box up here, I get, an I, uh, uh, I get a commands box there that asks me how much power I want to use from the laser and how fast I want to make the laser cut. Okay, so I'm going to set it up to be on 90% power and I'm going to bring the speed down to, well, it's on 10% there. We'll have to go with 10% speed. It might cut through fine. So I'm going to click OK. And now I've set up so my black lines are going to be cut at that power and that speed. Right, so if I click download, download current, it sends that job, my tangram, to my laser cutter. Right, now I'm going to move my laptop out of the way a second. Bear with me. Right, that drawing is now saved in the memory of the laser. Right, so my first job here is to go to the panel at the front of the laser cutter and to set the laser up for the material I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to cut my, my tangram out of this piece of plywood. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my panel and I'm going to look for the button that says, oops, sorry, I'm going to look for the button that says escape right on the end and press that. And you will see that the laser disappears. You press escape again, it'll come back. Okay, so laser disappears. And the next thing I need to do is I need to drive the laser cutter to the right place on my material. Right, the laser cutter head, this is the, this is the part where the laser comes from. It's got a focusing lens on it. I can now drive that on my bed of the laser using these right and left buttons. Now what you can see there is the laser starts to move. And if I press the down button, 
laser starts to come down. So I'm going to point that little dot that is where the laser, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little red dot there, it's not the laser beam, I wouldn't put my finger there if it was. I'm going to put that in somewhere where I've got some space. Right, so just by there, so I'm going to cut my square out in this area, all right, is where my laser is going to be. Now, next job, in, reach inside the door of the laser, you will find a cut off piece of ruler. That ruler is 41 millimeters long. And what I need to do, I need to put that underneath the little tab that's on the side of the sighting head. Now, if I go up, well, there's an up button on the laser control panel, it's this button here, it says up, look, or down, right? So I can use those buttons to move the material down until that tab just sits underneath there, nice and tight. Let me blue tack that back on the board. Right, now I can press a test button. So on the front here, look, you can see there's a button that says test. There it is, look. So if I press a test button, it will show me how big that object is gonna be. Right, happy it's gonna fit in there. I'll do that again just quickly. Okay, that's good. And that's not wasting too much material. So next job, then I can close the lid of the laser. I'll talk to you a bit more about lasers in a different video maybe. So now the laser, cutter has got a lid which is tinted that stops the laser beam from bouncing out of it so it's safer to be there and you can watch it doing the cutting. Now um, I've got a light that's turned on inside the laser cutter so you should be able to see this cutting nicely in a second. Just worth mentioning look the fumes that come from the laser cutter have to be exhausted out of the window so we don't breathe them in and don't fill the room with smoke. Now you're not allowed to walk away from this machine when it's cutting because it can actually catch fire and if it does catch fire we have to lift the lid up and make sure we extinguish the flame very quickly so we're gonna uh, quickly cut this out now and uh, keep watching the video you'll see it working so I I'm gonna go so I press the test button and next to the test button you'll see there's a button that says start by here so I'm gonna press the start button let's just line us up so we're where we need to be press the start button and the laser will start to cut the material a lot of smoke but all that smoke is going out of the pipe and out the window so I'm not breathing anything in at all. So you can see it cutting around now. Now sometimes you might set the speed and power up not quite right and that laser won't cut right through the material so we would have to go back in and change it. Now if you don't cut all the way through a good thing to do would be to keep the power at 90% but bring the speed down. So we're on 10 there, I'd maybe bring it down at 8% at 8, at 8 speed and uh, that might cut through deeper. But uh, we'll see how we get on with this one. Very, very accurate. So that's just cutting with a beam of light, believe it or not, which is a pretty clever device. Like I say, I'll do a different lesson on lasers and how they work. It's fascinating science. You ask Mrs. Hewitt about it, she's a laser expert. So if I open the lid now, give it a second for the smoke to clear. 